Today we are going to be looking at a lesson for preschoolers, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade students. Um, this is a mathematics lesson for graphing, subtraction, and addition. Last year I was actually able to witness this same lesson being used in a kindergarten and first grade classroom. This is a very fun and learning experience for the students and it's very beneficial to the students. I actually got to witness the students engaging in this lesson and uh, overall those students really enjoyed this lesson. So this is a lesson that I would use in my own classroom. Um, the first slide is the gumball math slide. It's just a uh, very colorful. Um, the gumball is a great uh, tool to use uh, just because you know all students and children they love gum so this is a great tool to use. Uh, the teacher done a very good job by choosing the gumball math. Um, the second slide is the gumball color graph. Um, this is the graphing slide. There's how many red, how many orange, how many yellow, how many green, how many blue, how many purple. The color with the most gumballs, the color with the most gumballs. Right here is a problem. Um, the color with the most gumballs, um, that's correct and it should stay that way. But down here I think that the teacher meant to put the color with the least gumball. So that is definitely something that I would have to change before I could use this lesson. Uh, let's go over here to the how many red. One two, three. So there's three red gumballs. So let's color in real quick the three red gumballs. Well, I want to use the color red for that. So let's go back over here and we'll find the color red. Make sure I got the right color. Red. So we'll t do the three red and then we would go up here and we would shade. There's already one of the ones so we would do the one. Um, See if we can get the pen a little bigger for this. Um, maybe, yeah. There's one, two, there's one, two, three. There's three. So the student would come up and they would actually just add the two blocks, and there's the three gumballs. Um, the one thing that I would change about this slide, and I know it doesn't look like it should be a big deal, but I actually saw a few students mess up, so it is definitely something that I would change, and that would be the red and the orange gumballs. The reason that I'm saying that is because the students are actually up at the smart board, so they're like kind of face to face with the smart board, so it's kind of hard to tell the different colors. So I would change the orange, or you could change the red to maybe a pink color or just any color really that you want to change it to. Just something that the, the students will be able to identify the colors and be able to get the correct colors because I actually saw several students that would mistake the orange for the red or the red for the orange so that is definitely something that I would change before I would use this in my own classroom. The next slide is um, just simple uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And what the teacher is wanting the students to do is to come up here and count. And we'll do the blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six blue gumballs. So we would come down here and we would write six over blue. Um, I think it's best if you call on a different student for each color. That gets everyone involved. You don't have minds wandering. Um, the teacher that I was observing actually this day, she actually would call on the first student to come up and count the red gumballs. That student would count the red gumballs, and then that student would actually take on the role as the teacher and would call on the next student to come up. So I think that is a great tool to use. I think it's always great to have students involved with students. So um, that's great for uh, the students and that is actually something that I remember and something that I plan to use if I do decide to use this lesson in my own classroom. Um, the next is just a addition problem. Amy bought four blue gumballs so we're going to write four then Amy bought three yellow gumballs so we're going to go up here to the color yellow we're going to do three, four not very good with this so let's try that again. We'll use the eraser three. How many gumballs does she have all together? So four plus three is seven. So we would write in the seven. 
I think it's best that if the students are familiar with the smart board and they are able to go up and actually pick their own colors. So I think the blue with the blue should go and the three with the three and the seven. And even if the students aren't really familiar with it, it's great that the teacher will be able to explain them, hey, you can change this color. Hey, you can erase that if you don't need it. I think they need to be just as familiar with the smart board as the teacher because I love the smart board lessons. I think these are great for classrooms and I think it's a great tool and I'm super excited to be able to use it in my own classroom one day. Um, the next is just the same simple addition problems. Read each, let the student come up. Um, here actually I wanted to stop and correct a, a problem because this is actually the exact same lesson that we used in the classroom I was observing in. And I remember the student actually pointing this out to the teacher so I had to point it out. Samuel bought two blue gumballs. Then he bought four blue gumballs. How many gumballs does Samuel have all together? Well, actually, Samuel bought two red gumballs. So this blue, the word blue, needs to be corrected. And it needs to be changed to the word red. So we would need to put R-E-D beside the number two. So actually, there's one, two, there's two red gumballs. So we would go down here and we would do the two red gumballs plus the four gumballs four blue gumballs, I'm sorry, and then, then the two plus four equals six. So that would definitely be something that I would have to change before using this in my own classroom because we don't want to get the students confused and most people would not even recognize that and honestly I probably wouldn't have even pointed it out just because it's red. I would set the color red and went on and but I remember that student actually pointing that out so that is definitely something that we would have to change. Um, the next is the same addition problem. The next is add addition word problem here. I think this is a great tool and I am super excited that the teacher was able to leave this blank and was able to let the students actually come up with their own idea and actually be able to come and make their own word problem up. So maybe we'll do like Derek had three red gumballs. Sandra gave him let's see here my problem. Sandra gave him two green gumballs. How many does he have in all? So we would do the three red plus the two green balls that gumballs, I'm sorry, that Sandra gave him. How many in total does he have? He has five gumballs in total. So we would put the five here. Um, I think that's great that the teacher was able to leave that blank. It just gives the, the students the chance to create their own problem. You know, students need their own chance to be able to speak their own minds, have open minds about things. And I think it's great that if you give children the option to voice their own opinion, to be able to engage in problems to be able to help each other. You could even have two students come up and they could demonstrate and act. There's just so many things that you could do with these blank problems so that's a great tool to have too. The next is the subtraction and I really um, think with the subtraction there's um, the, the eraser tool is a great tool to have. You could actually have them erase the gumballs as they so I mean it's always better for students to be able to visualize and be able to see what's going on. So I think that if they're able to sit there and they're able to erase the gumballs, you can actually see them disappearing, see them being taken away. I think that's a great tool to have. And with this smart board, um, that gives you the opportunity to do that. So Slade had eight purple gumballs. Let's get the color purple. He gave four gumballs to Corey. How many gumballs does Slade have? So if he started out with eight gumballs, but he gave four to Corey. So here we want to erase the four. One, two, three, four. I'm not actually sure as to why that's not erasing, but that's something that I would definitely have working so the students were able to erase. So it's eight, subtract the four, equals, so he has four gumballs left. And if the eraser was working, they would actually be able to see that and visualize that. So that's a great tool to have. The next is the same gumball. Emily gave six blue gumballs. She gave one to Monica. How many gumballs does she have left? 
again I would use the eraser on all the subtraction problems um, here we're able to add a subtraction word problem here and another great tool to use so here we're going to do again what we did in the first um, addition word problem so we're going to say um, Scott has let's see I don't know why this okay Scott has four pink gumballs Scott wanted to give two gumballs to his friend Casey how many gumballs does Scott have left well Scott would have two gumballs left so here we're going to add our problem in so we're going to do four gumballs but he gave two to Casey. How many gumballs does Scott have left? Scott would have two gumballs left. And here, actually, you, will, you were able to see them erased and see them being taken away. And I think that's great for elementary students because elementary students, they just need to see that. They need to see it firsthand. They need to see it happen. And it's much easier to understand it if you're seeing it instead of just being read to or being told. Overall, I think this is a great lesson. Um, it is definitely a lesson that I would use in my own classroom. Um, just with those few simple uh, changes, um, this is a great lesson. Uh, I know how beneficial it is to the students because I've actually saw it used in the classroom. I know how fun and inviting it was too. So it's a very simple but neat uh, lesson. I'm a person for simple. I like simple things just in order. Um, I think the simpler, you know, it's just better for them. You don't have minds wandering everywhere and just lost in the lesson. Uh, it is definitely a lesson that I would use, and I would re recommend it to other teachers to use in their classroom as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed going over this lesson as much as I did, and I hope that one day uh, while doing a mathematics lesson on graphing, subtraction, or addition, you may relate to the gumball math and use it in your own classroom.